Hey what's everyone, JB here with another political video and today we will be talking about gerrymandering and how it has been issued it's long plagued both people of, on both sides of political parties and people of sort of ethnicities which will be breaking it all down talking about what's happening recently. Now if you guys do end up liking this video please leave a like and subscribe as we would really appreciate it, it, was, it would help the channel grow. So basically if you don't know what gerrymandering it is, I'm going to give you a quick little brief rundown from the most basic term you can understand, okay? Say there's a like there's like a place where people vote in in those different like precincts, right? Those different districts or different breakdowns of, like, hey, the vote for this person that votes for for X, Y, and Z. Say say I'm voting for like one thing, right? I, I vote for something and it's put into a vote for that district, right? That's that's like the most toned down version I can explain. And gerrymandering is taking a certain section of people and merging them with another section to make it so that one side comes out be better or the other both republicans and democrats have done this and i think it, on either side as a republican myself i think both sides are dumb and shit for doing it i think it's a disgusting thing to do because you're destroying someone's vote you're not making it honest i had a teacher who was talking about where, that he lives in one area and there's really a lot a lot i'm trying to do my hands but you can't see me but there's a long line from where he lives through his neighborhood, which is more politically one side than the other, going all the way to an area where it's the opposite political spectrum, therefore basically taking away a lot of the votes. Um, and then we're going to be looking at some images in this, right? We'll be looking at this. The reason I'm talking about this is because there's a recent one with Illinois' uh, release a proposed congressional map, which could, um, which is kind of gerrymandering, which is gerrymandering. So I, I want to take, that's why I'm talking about this right now in the news. I, I do want to sort of go through other examples. As we see right here, this is how Republicans did it in 2012 and 2014. Right here, we see Republicans did it. This is what the Democrats wanted to do. We see both ways. We're getting a clear forcing one side, right? Here, we see all these red, where they may not have been. And then the thing, the same thing, the thing is, with the same amount of, same votes, not the votes aren't changing, same votes, would result is this, because they're changing it, they're breaking up into smaller ones. It's, come on, this is, everyone, anyone with like a brain can see this is ridiculous as shit. It should look more like this. You see right here, we have, for instance, like th these areas are somewhat similar, so they're going to vote more Democrat. These are more similar, they're going to end up voting more Republican. And then we see right here, look, these ones are, there's a nice mix in between. Now, I think it's, I think the best, the best way to honestly do it is if you just like did ch 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 big chalk up lines, which again, it would be hard to do that still because you, I, I mean, I don't know exactly why they choose everything they do. I'm sure some of it is geographical. I'm sure some of it is like that. But we can both agree these one, this and this right here, these two, are ridiculous. It should be something more like this in the, in the best kind of world. This is the hypothetical nonpartisan congressional map making swing districts, basically saying these are the districts that kind of like can like determine like those, those swing states. So basically, this is showing examples of gerrymandering right here. We see right here. This is, if it's, so the, say 50% of the precincts is, 60% uh, is blue and 40% is yellow, right? So this way, blue wins every single one, okay? Then here, yellow wins every single one. Well, not every single one, but they win majority. And by doing this, they are able to win majority. And then right here, we see proportion outcomes, five districts, so three, two. And then we see right here, a beat, uh, three, two. Blue and yellow win in proportion to their voting, which makes the most sense. But instead, it's things like this that are sometimes done. Now we're going to be go shuffling on right into actually, you know, the main main reason I'm making this video. Again, I'm not the Democrats are doing it more so right now, but I'm not. Again, I, I want to point out this is this is hypothetical. I don't believe this is going to affect it, but I do want to say Democrats are doing it right now. But it has been done by Republicans before. It's been done done by both sides. It's been done throughout throughout American history. It's been done for political reasons, obviously. It's been done to suppress uh, minorities and certain ethnicities. Uh, it's been done for many reasons many many reasons and it's it's dumb it's bad it's been done to for people because of their race it's been done i believe for religion um we've i i know for sure it's been done based on socioeconomic status keeping the poor people so they can't vote making it so that they're only rich get to vote which i am against i want everyone to have a fair and equal vote even though i'm a conservative i want the the democrat people sorry i want the democrats and people who want to vote democrat to people to have the same amount of of Ah, uh, I think a way to say it. same impact with their vote as I would with mine. I want it to be fair, as it should be. I think everyone should think it should be fair, and every, I mean, like if you don't, I'm sorry. I, I don't I don't understand. I don't think I think gerrymandering is a very very bad thing because it is literally destroying people's votes. It makes them not matter. So we see our Illinois Democrats are set to approve new congressional and district maps as the party fights to keep control of the U.S. House in 2022. This is why I have an issue with it. They're doing it to try to get the 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 um 
you know the district thing the district uh the more votes so this is what it currently looks like so let me oh, do this and do this i don't want twitter nope i refuse to get twitter even <laughs> uh, yeah i'm not gonna do it so see right here i need to open so once we see right here this is what i believe it currently looks like all right see and i believe they're getting rid of one of the seats if i'm correct yeah they're getting one of the they're trying to get rid of one of the things for um them. So we see right here. Let's look at the big difference. Right, we see right here. These look pretty much the same, but the main issue is right here. As you can see, this little guy. They ch chunked this into there. Did this. This would have a profound impact. If, let me see if I the image. This is what it would do. It would basically. Uh, I believe it would get them extra, maybe extra vote here. I don't know exactly where it is taking the extra votes pulled from, but what it's doing is it's causing them to, it would make them win a specific spot, as it would say right here. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, here we here. We move uh, Illinois 17 from Trump plus one to in, in 16 to 20 to Clinton Biden plus one. Uh, it's not huge, but it is helpful, and it just basically shows how it's being done this time. Again, I just want to point out, this is not, again, I feel like I said, I have said this before, it's not just Democrats that do this, but Republicans have done it many times before, and I think it's be very clear that this this is what's needed to make everything run smoothly with uh like you know elections and all that kind of stuff we need to make sure that everything's fair uh not having any gerrymandering because i think it's just a, it's just a travesty on the like you know voting and making sure that things work the way that you're supposed to so we see here the, uh, the district u.s republican sorry representative Rodney davis republican of illinois serves with uh serves with rejoin in more pro-democrat territory including Included in not the lawmaker's hometown. The district already has a Democratic challenger, Nikki Budzinski, 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 served in President Joe Biden's administration. Davis issued a statement with a strong opposition to the proposed maps, Friday, saying, quote, as expected, or, or lying governor teamed with the state Democrats to draw a shameful partisan gerrymander in a desperate attempt to keep Nancy Pelosi in power, end quote. Davis said, saying, also, quote, this proposed map, along with this entire redistrict, redistricting process, is a complete joke. It's clear Governor uh, Pritzker and the Democrats will stoop to any low if it means they can keep their corrupt system going, end quote. That's not me saying that, YouTube. That's that's Davis saying that. But I do agree. I think gerrymandering is bad for anyone that does it. I want to make sure everyone knows that. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think of this? Do you think this is bad? Do you think this is good? If you think it's good, please enlighten me on how you can come to that term. But I think gerrymandering anywhere... Uh, I, I didn't talk about Virginia because I was looking into it and it, it's like, I'm like... It's already like almost minute, like eleven. I don't have I don't have time to look into that. Virginia it seems like has a lot of issues. I think Virginia also needs to be fixed in uh, that issue. So again, um, if you guys did you guys like this video? If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, let me know why. Um, maybe also leave a like. Give me maybe maybe. But again, I want to know why you you guys think this is still occurs and how do you think we can fix this? What's the solution we can do? Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. This next video. See you safe out there. Bye guys. Peace peace.